Shut up and sit down. Hi folks, welcome back. Um, we're at uh, Chigborough and a uh, lovely sunny afternoon. A bit of a cold easterly wind, um, but uh, it's not looking too bad at all. So I thought what we'd do is we'd have a little crack with the buzzers. Um, um, specifically trying to show you how to fish these things static and as static as you can get them. A lot of people when they're fishing buzzers static uh, are actually a mile off uh, and they really struggle uh, with the whole idea of the whole principle of, of keeping your flies as still as you can and just letting the wind and the, um, the currents do their work for them. Um, we've positioned ourselves here on this bank here, we've got this easterly wind blowing down here and um, it's blowing a lovely left to right breeze here. So we're going to be able to pop these buzzers out across the wind and just let the wind bring them around very very naturally. Set up as always is a uh, 9 foot 6 um, a 7 weight outfit with uh, paired up with a floating line and onto the end of that we have tied a uh, 12 foot leader so nothing too mad you don't want to go too longer leaders there's no point eight pound fluorocarbon and then we've got three droppers on there four foot eight foot and of course your point fly and the flies and i'll give you a little bit of a close-up on these on the video i've gone for three buzzers three straight buzzers on here all size tens okay we've got a uh, Little red butt one on the point there okay it's just going to give us a little bit of attraction and we've got a crisp packet and then we've got the uh, um, cool buzzer one of my favorites simply gonna shut these out across the wind let them push round and hopefully uh, these fish are going to be in the mood for taking a few buzzers I've seen one or two buzzer coming off nothing any very big but they'll definitely be in the water right now so uh, yeah let's just crack on and see what we can do so as I said, we've just got this three buzzer cast, wind's dropping down ever so slightly now. It's actually looking really, really nice. We're going to put this out at a slight angle. That wind's coming round here left to right, so we're going to put this at a slight angle out there, just across the wind, and then we're going to let it just drift us through with no retrieve at all, okay? So we're not looking to book a big line out there. That's fine. That's just turned over nicely. Just straighten up to the flies, and we're, all we're doing is we're watching this part of the fly line here, this bit down underneath the rod tip. Okay, and we're just staying in touch with this. There's no retrieve at all. Just letting the wind do what it needs to do. You can see in my hand, I'm not moving that. I'm just staying in touch with it as it comes around. Just taking the slack out of it. And we really are looking for the fish to hook themselves on this. The takes on this sort of set up are some of the best of the year. The fish have these as food, they don't mess around with them. And you just see how that's just pushing those round, and as that starts to make this big bow in the line, it will start to lift the buzzers in a very, very natural movement. And bring that round, bring that round. It's a good way of covering all the depths as well by straight lining buzzers, you know, straight lining fishing buzzers or nymphs. You, you've got I'm effectively covering about 12 foot of water there eventually when they're all strung out. So I've got one sitting there at 12, one sitting there at 8, one sitting there at 4. Um, I don't think they're going to be much higher up than that at the moment just because it's been such cold, cold morning. Look, you see that little take there? Do you see the end of the line go? Just pinged out. Let's see if we'll come back and have another little go. What I'm going to do is just going to give that a, a little draw just to bring those flies back up again and let them settle down. It's this sink and draw that they love. leave it coming around and this is how you fish them static my hands doing nothing the winds doing the work for me I'm just concentrating on this end of the loop here in a flat calm you can be able to see your other end of your fly line there and that's a great indicator but uh, on a day like this we've got quite a bit of sunshine on there as well it's very very difficult to see and that's just come round and that's just hitting the shallows there so we're going to recast that that's encouraging that was a take on the first cast a little 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 blimp on the first cast, so just get those out there, make sure they turn over. I need to cast out a long way. Straighten up and same again, just let that come round. 
let those flies come round, concentrating on this spot down here. This is your bite indicator. If you think these fish are a bit higher, we'll have a little play around with them. If we think a bit higher, we might try to wash in the one. We might put a little fab or something on the point. Ideally, you put a booby on the point, but um, look at that. Wow, a wallet. Didn't even touch it and just roared off. Wow. Cracking tape. That's exactly what a buzzer tape looks like. Just takes the line out of your hand. Lovely. Really is some of the most enjoyable fishing. He's taking the higher one as well, so yeah, one that deep. Nice on that. Nice little jigba rainbow. That hook should just drop out. Come on, shake the hook. Shouldn't need to touch you. Gonna need to. Gonna need to. Well, it has come out in the net now. Not typical. Beautiful. Cheap for a rainbow in the bright sunshine. We'll get a picture of a bigger one, I'm sure. Excellent. Well, that didn't take long. And that took that crisp packet. Uh, sorry, that took the. Uh, come on. That took that cool buzz out there on the top dropper. Right, let's try that again. So same again. Only for a real long cast, just make sure everything turns over. Straighten up. And then we're just watching the end of the air. I wasn't moving those flies at all. They were just settling in the water. The wind was just getting hold of them, just started to move them. And it roared off. You can do this with nymphs as well, of course. But being this is early season, the buzzers really are on the menu. Um, that's lovely. Just going to give it a little pull just to straighten everything out. And there we are, we're in touch with that now. So, oh, look at that, straight away. <laughs> oh, well. Well, 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 well. Just straightened everything out. And up he come and nailed it. Here he comes. Lovely. Great. Another super rainbow. Yeah. Even these barbless hooks. That's that, and this one's taking the crisp packet that time. Another nice fish. Alright, two and two chucks. Right, making a quick little change here because I feel these fish have come up a bit. We've been 10 minutes without a take. Um, the last couple of fish we had to come on the top dropper, so I've taken the point fly off and instead of that on the point I've put a little fab. And that's just going to slow the descent of these flies and keep them in the taking zone a little bit more. Going to fish them exactly the same way, but it's just going to slow the descent. So let's try that, give it a go, see what happens. 
seeing one or two fish moving as well which gives me an idea that these fish have just come up in the water a little bit so um, let's see what we can do that's out there that's straightened up and we're just going to hold on to it of course a bit of colour on there won't do any harm bring the fish in for a look it just slows those flies down it allows them to flutter through the water a lot lot slower just holding up you've got the floating line on one end and you've got the foul on the other end just give you a bit more control I only took one fish on that point for look at that straight away wow wow I shouldn't have struck that to be honest I should have just let that go there we go right so we can do that again Yeah, I think that's what they want. I think they just want it slower and held up in the um, take zone that little bit longer, especially now that this wind's dropping, the flies have got more time to settle because the wind's a lot, lot calmer than when we got here an hour ago. I think that's possibly what they want now. It's definitely warmed up a tad as well. Just staying in contact. If you get that bit of slack line coming to it, just give it that little just to get back in contact, try not to move the flies just let them sit there always watching that tip of that fly line just gonna Give that a nice long three foot pull just to bring everything back up again and then it will flutter back down again. About time, about time. It's been a long time coming. That one, what's he had? Little buzzer. Beautiful. Nice way to get them. Just like that. Nice little chick for a rainbow. Beautiful. Nice one. There he goes. The wind's changed right around now. It's coming straight into our face. Get a bit of turnover on those flies. So this is when we're going to need to start judging this a bit better and just stay in touch with it again but we've got to figure out this slack as it comes back towards us just slowly 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 just keeping in touch might spur the fish on a little bit they had a little bit of a quiet 20 minutes that's lovely it's just coming back nicely few buzzers that were hatching soon have slowed down as well I think mind you it's, it's come up to four o'clock now and it's definitely a bit of a chill in the air now so you're into your last last half an hour really 
have a couple more casts and call it a day. And oh, there we go. Oh, he's off. He's off. Let's see if we can do that again. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, he hit that. He really hit that. Now, what's he had? He's had the buzzer. There is a real difference in the takes when they have the buzzers and they, they eat the colour. It was such a confident, no messing around. There we go. Nice, that's that Chris Beckett buzzer again. Come on. Smashing. Well, oh, that was it, last cast. For a fish. We have a last, last cast. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Lovely. There we go, right, last cast of the day. Let's see what we can do. Thanks for watching folks, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, um, just showing you the merits of fishing static flies as best I can. Um, any suggestions, any other videos you'd like to see, please uh, just pop them down in the description, any questions you've got, pop it down in the descriptions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this, please click like, click subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, yeah, and I appreciate you watching, it's been nice to get out and do a little fishing tutorial it's been pretty difficult over the last couple of months one thing and another and um, this should break up those fly time videos I keep pestering you all with but again do appreciate it and uh, yeah tight lines folks I'm gonna have another couple of casts and call it a day cheers for watching <laughs>